Kung busy tayo dito sa Pinas preparing for our summer escapades, on the other side of the world, Hollywood is busy getting ready for their award season. Red carpet events tulad ng highly anticipated Oscars call for head-to-toe duties. Kaya naman much attention is given lalong-lalo na sa pagpili ng evening gowns. Hollywood A-listers spent thousands of dollars to earn the raves and don the most remarkable look. And with the telecast of the 82nd Academy Awards on Tuesday, March 9, on your Kabarkada channel, there is no doubt it will be yet another star-studded event you shouldn't miss. But before we go into that, let's have a brief recap of some of the most striking long gowns ever worn to the Oscars. And to help us remember is stylist and editor, Gillette Esguera. Yay! I got that right! <laughs> so, Gillette, um, one that I definitely always remember is Julia Roberts in her Valentino gown when she won Best Actress. She looked stunning in that gown. So, that was actually a 1982 um, vintage Valentino. Mm -hmm. So, you know, she you know she really took something from the past and made it her own, you mm -hmm. know, and her old glamour style. Another one who always looks good on the red carpet is Nicole Kidman. Oh, yeah. But what's one dress that you cannot forget that she wore? It has to be that like three strap Jean Paul Gaultier um, twisted black dress. Now she looked absolutely gorgeous in it. Halle Berry always would choose the perfect color for her skin tone. So she usually just does like column column gowns, mm -hmm. but then this time she did a, a sheer um, a sheer Elisa um, dress that's like you know that's that comes out big mm -hmm. and then you know it the palette was wonderful it was a floral palette and it, another classic and a very elegant and regal beauty is audrey hepburn right in, in this one um oscar appearance she was wearing a sabrina neckline with a oh, the sabrina yeah she, that, that's so she's her the one, right? yeah she's the one who pulls that off really yeah really well. and with a cinched waist in the belt mm -hmm. and you know she, that's it's so, just her. so elegant and jessica biel in her very strong yet feminine form right it was like um it was a bright pink gown with a with a black waist mm -hmm. or, yeah with a black sash mm -hmm. so you know she really emphasized her curves and yet you know her hair was up like that and she looked very very good yeah, yeah and and very feminine another one that looks really elegant on the red carpet is Gwyneth Paltrow. this one that i really like is this salmon salmon gown with you know crisscrosses and stuff like that and another petite one like audrey hepburn is natalie portman oh yeah there's this mm -hmm. one time she wore a london dress and you know it's just like a gretchen inspired dress penelope cruz is a classic beauty and you know, as the others that we've mentioned, she always looks good on the red carpet as well. There was this one year where she wore this blush gown in chiffon. So the bodies was in chiffon and then um, it had like a really, really big train. And it was just so <laughs> fabulous and everyone's like, oh, it's, you know, it looked like a flamingo or something like that. Mm -hmm. So majestic. Mm -hmm. Controversial gown worn by Bjork. Oh yeah, she <laughs> wore a swan dress and then um, everyone was just so surprised that she wore it. It was like a costume. Mm -hmm. Oh, Michelle Williams. Michelle Do you Williams. remember that yellow, that yellow gown she wore by Vera Wang? Um, Vera Wang makes yeah. fabulous creations. Having mentioned rebels on the red carpet and you know wearing the unexpected colors and and structures, what do you think would be the most uh, dominant color on the red carpet this year? We'll be seeing more of blush and gold in the mm -hmm. red carpet now. Mm -hmm. Mostly jewel tone colors, mm -hmm. so violet and green and you know other clothes like that. What about in terms of silhouette and fabric? Now the cuts are more like mermaid cuts and serpentina cuts. Mm -hmm. So people like showing off the shape of their mm -hmm. bodies. We'll be seeing a lot of details, hard and very soft details. Soft details like ruffles mm -hmm. and a lot of ruching. Mm -hmm. Aside from the names that we've already mentioned earlier, who else do you think would make it to the best dress list? I think Helen Marin always, mm -hmm. you know, wears something That's really true. nice. Mm -hmm. And then uh, yeah, she is a very fashionable. Yeah, and, yeah. And um, Meryl Streep, she's nominated this year. And it would also be interesting to see what Angelina and Brad Pitt oh, would be wearing. True. I'm sure that a lot of people out there would like to see how we would interpret, uh, our, you know, how would we, our, or how we would make our own red carpet event and yeah. what people would wear. Yeah. So let's see what you put together. All right. Thank you. Wow, that gown looks really, really elegant and very soft and feminine, but not 
anyone, not everyone can pull that off. And I like the color also. Yeah, that, you know, champagne is mm -hmm. really making waves on the red carpet because it makes everyone's skin look yes. heavenly. Yes. You know, make their pale skin glow. <laughs> Now this kind of gown is a no-fail. It will definitely uh, make heads turn and make anyone look uh, sexy and uh, very uh, feminine also, right? Mm -hmm. It's the cut, it's because of the halter cut and mm -hmm. it's because, you know, it sort of focuses on your midsection mm -hmm. and the shape is will be flattering for everyone, mm -hmm. just whatever their shape would be. Somehow, this one just really flows down, but it looks really sexy. And it's also a, a nice 2010 trend, which mm -hmm. is, you know, uh, tribal. Mm -hmm. So you have that mix of um, uh, colors of tangerine mm -hmm. and wood and colors gold of the sun. and colors yeah. of the sun. It's like you're an, this island girl, so <laughs> you're going to look very, very exotic and you know, look very, very nice on the red carpet. Here's another one that's quite hard to pull off. But actually it can be pulled off by either someone very very young with a very nice frame. It's not so complicated but then it you know seems to cover a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So you know I mean sometimes it, it's good to show off a lot of things also. <laughs> I don't know if it's just me or I haven't seen asymmetrical in a long time, but then it's coming back now. Yeah, right? it's you know an interesting, an interesting shape. Mm -hmm. It makes you look longer than mm -hmm. you really are. And with this black dress, you know, it, it might look very, very simple, but you can go, you know, very, very flashy with it by accessorizing. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one looks very, very sexy. Gives it some uh, a little bit of, of roughness. Yeah. Right. It's like and a character. Cool feel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Something a little vintagey, and yet you know it's it's there. The shape is familiar, but the you know but the it details. has praise and the mm -hmm. details and everything else. We're always on the lookout for those things, right? So yeah. thank you for that. It was nice, and thank you for all the tips also for um, what to watch out. Uh, during the next, uh, the next red carpet for the, the next red carpet. Daring selections for an evidently elegant you. Rule the red carpet and feel like a true blue Hollywood royalty, just like your favorite stars. Summer is back and so is our annual...